thank you very much for giving the chance to present here, Javantan. It's amazing the, you know, what you're doing for the startup ecosystem in Europe. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to be presenting Javantan. We are an on-demand staffing platform. Our aim is to give flexible workforces for companies and to ensure job security to workers. The reason why we exist is because of the current trend of the labor market that is transitioning from a very rigid market to a much more flexible market where companies are hiring people as temps, as gigs. And this is putting actually the workers in a quite precarious situation where they're actually spending a lot of time in between jobs. And this is affecting all the earnings that they are having on a weekly, on a, weekly, on a yearly basis. They're missing actually 40% of their potential earnings. And at the same time, this is affecting also the companies because they're starting to have uh, unqualified workers, a lot of attrition rates, churn. So in the end, this is affecting the company's performance. So we believe that um, the current players in, in the labor market are not fixing this. We have like the staffing agencies trying to, to serve this, but the companies are demanding something much faster. And we believe that there is a tremendous opportunity to create a workforce as a service platform to serve this, you know, in, in the way of on-demand staffing. And we're not only here alone as a company. There are many players coming. Last week's actually was Uber even saying that they're coming into this industry. And we believe that in what's just gonna, what's gonna happen in the next five to 10 years is that companies won't have employees on their books. They'll have a total flexible workforce and there will be a platform serving those workers on demand. And then at the same time, employing those workers on the long term, giving them different contracts in different companies, assuring for them job duration and job security. These are results. We, this is not only a vision. This is a reality. We have created this platform, and it's already working. Uh, the platform is composed of five different pillars. The first one is a matching system between candidates and workers and companies. The second one is a scoring and vetting system for workers, so we can get a lot of KPIs, performance metrics for the workers, so we increase the quality of the workers that we have in our database. We also have a hiring platform where the workers can sign the contract in the app and fulfill all the compliance needs with background checks, criminal background, we, we have all of that, and, and we avoid all the bureaucratic things for companies. Then we also have a payroll system, we process you know, a large amount of, of payslips pay every month and a large amount of payments for those workers. And then finally, we're optimizing the shifts, we're the scheduling of, of all those workers within the companies, generating a lot of savings for them. Our long-term vision is to keep on working on the worker satisfaction. We really want to improve the workers' life standards, but not only working on, on their job security and and making sure that they're well correctly paid with minimum living wage and things like that. We want to go far beyond that. We want to give them loans. We want to be capable to give them health insurance. We want to create a community in the end that, that, that in somehow fulfill the aims of the workers and they feel proud to work for job and talent in different companies. And somehow we want to bring them like a Google-like employee status, but for blue-collar workers. Since we started the model back in um, mid-2016, the, the growth has been um, enormous. We, 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 we went from zero revenue to 170 run rate, revenue run rate that we are right now. We're still growing at 3x right now, year and year. And it's of high quality revenue. We, 90% of the revenue is coming from companies that we acquired at least six months ago. So it's, a, it's, it's like companies come here, they test, and they massively expand their workforces with us. It's not only growth, it's also quite profitable. We have shown in less than 18 months that we can turn a country from starting point to profitability, and we have replicated that in four different markets. And we're right now entering the German and Swedish market, and the trend is even better than in the previous market. We're actually 2x better than before. We work with big enterprises like Amazon, Just Eat, Santander, H&M. We're becoming their first source of staffing for some of them and growing massively with, uh, with others. And we have a quite aggressive expansion plan 
to open into different countries in Europe and in other places uh, across the, the globe, the, the world, to keep on leading, uh, you know, the leadership on, on this massive category. And we have a great team of what we call mission-driven executors, like the people that we're being capable to bring to the team. Those are amazing executors so from some of the top startups in Europe and now from the US that are really motivated with our mission, with the mission of really changing the labor market by providing like um, long-term stability to those workers in a workforce as a service platform that, that can really help them to achieve this Google-like status on some workers that have been forgotten, to be honest, in the last years in the world. So that's it. Thank you. I love it. You're speaking as fast as you're growing. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you. Maybe take a step back, because I think a lot of investors still see you as a, as a classifieds business. So you know, when, did you, when did you decide to make that change, and, and when did you get a sense that you were onto something really big? Yes, we, we were a classified business until 2016. Actually, we were doing li just the matching piece of that. And when we saw that we didn't have the data to know if the people were correctly hired, it's like we didn't know if, if, you know, if, if they were pay being paid correctly. And we made the decision of, of actually moving from that model, from mobile classified model to actually more transactional, on-demand staffing. That is a full stack service, much better for both workers and companies. And it's a 10x improvement. We had the feeling that the other one it was a 30% improvement for Indeed and the rest of the players that exist. Amazing. And so you, you've shown how, through technology, you're kind of disrupting the price point in the industry. Uh, looking forward, what more do you want to do? What do you want to provide to the employers, but also the job seekers? In the end, in the employers, we want to be more like integrated with them. That's where we're working with some clients. You know, we're integrating with the ERPs right now to understand their demand peaks and to be capable to fulfill their demand peaks more efficiently with our, with our workforce as a service uh, platform. So they can somehow be more effective and, and, and they can improve the, the most relevant KPIs. So that's where we're focusing our efforts on the demand part. And on the supply, we want to keep on, as I have mentioned, uh, building things on top of what we already have, not only providing them jobs, but providing them um, health insurance, uh, some financial products. So in the end, perks, things like that. So we can actually start to provide them a, a, a total different uh, value proposition, you know, better than anything that exists. Would you partner with third parties for this, or would you internalize this, this, those, those With some we will partner. With okay. some, we are actually looking for partners on, on each of those, uh, on some of those um, uh, big parts. Okay, great. So you've shown that you're going through explosive growth. Help us understand how big can this be? Well, in the end, it's like we, we see the potential of this not only in the staffing market, that is a 460 billion market in the world. Uh, uh, we see this as, as, a, as even bigger because the reality is that our addressable market is all the temporary workers, blue collar workers that exist in the world, more than 1.5 trillion all, ar all around the world. So this can be a real uh, massive company that, you know, that we're sitting a wave in, in, that in, in a market that is dramatically changing, that is going to be totally disrupted by AI. Yeah. So the potential of, of this, like, it may, say, it, it, it may be ridiculous in here, mm -hmm. saying here that we can be a trillion dollar company, but they will be a one trillion dollar company in this space in 10 to 15 years time for sure. Okay, great. And, um, and so, f you know, you've shown you've got aspirations to be a global, a global player. Uh, take us through your fundraising plans. What, what are the next steps for you? So, well, you came in uh, seven months ago, eight yeah. months ago, um, and <laughs> thanks for, for all the help <laughs> during this month. And, and we have plans to raise in, in, in the next months. Actually, we're targeting Q1 for, of next quarter to, to, to raise. We want to, to bring an investor that is actually uh, you know, a growth investor that is, uh, has experience in, in international expansion that thinks big, you know, that, that wants to create like a global leader in a massive industry and, and, and is not thinking in the short term, in the next two or three years IPO, it's like it, it wants to, to grow a business for the next five, ten years with us. Mm -hmm. And where do you see the next geographies? You've shown already quite a few you've gone to. Where, where, where are you thinking next? We're thinking on France, Italy, Netherlands, and also we're thinking to put the first step in the US, uh, plus also uh, strengthening our position in Latin America with uh, uh, other two openings. Okay, great. I love great plans. Well, thank you very much <laughs> for your time. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you, Thomas. Thank you.